Hello everybody. I'm just finishing to get ready for the day and it is Friday, which means I am going back to Cambridge to see my family, to see Jack, and actually tonight I am meeting a friend, like a longtime friend. We actually used to skate together back when I was like, oh my god, 12, 13. And she's getting married, which is so exciting. So we're actually gonna go grab drinks tonight and just have a fun girls' night today, and you guys know. I don't often have girls' nights, <laughs> but anyways, I just finished up putting on some jewelry. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my fragrance. Oh, this is still like my favorite. Yesterday, I picked up a little something from Swarovski, and it's funny, because my mom has used Swarovski for years and years and years. It was actually her wedding jewelry, and I, I wish I had photos, but she looked so beautiful. She had the most beautiful necklace and earrings and bracelet, and a beautiful like headpiece that went in her bun. It was beautiful, and I had been gifted a few Swarovski pieces over the years, but I've never actually bought anything for myself, and they have recently undergone a, undergone, sorry, I said that funny, a rebranding, which in my opinion, I think is brilliant. It looks fresh, it looks modern, it looks more youthful, and I really like it. It's really been capturing my attention. They opened up their new boutique in Yorkville, and that's where I stopped by also. She gave me a yellow bag, which is like, well, you guys know I love yellow, but since I was putting on jewelry, I thought I would open this up for you guys. And I wasn't actually planning on buying anything when I went into the store. I was just kind of trying stuff on for fun. And all of a sudden, as soon as I tried this, I was like, it's coming home with me. So, um, oh, it's a really big bag, but not a big box. But this is what we got. So this is, I don't even, there's no name. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna open it up and show you guys what it is. Um, now my only concern with Swarovski is you can't shower in it or even spray perfume on it and you guys know what I'm like with my jewelry. I'm, I'm not gentle with my jewelry. I really like to just live in my jewelry. I know I've said that a million times when I'm like talking about like Missouri for example because I always wear all my jewelry like all my bracelets even my tennis bracelet which is awful. I shower in it. I work out in it. I know it's bad but I, I just want to live in my jewelry. I won't be able to do that with this, and I know, but oh, it's just so beautiful. Okay, are you ready? So this is what I got, and I'll get in closer in a second so you can see, but essentially it's round um, the Swarovski crystals, surrounded by little Mojave crystals, and they're just so, so beautiful. This is called the Angelic Bracelet, and it comes in silver, rose gold, and like a yellow gold color. Um, I'll take it out of here so I can show you properly. Um, it's so, so, so beautiful. That is the bracelet there, and it's so stunning. Oh, and then it does have um, two lengths for it. I'm not quite sure which length I'll do yet, but oh, look at that. Okay, let me put it on and figure out which length to go on. So in the store, I tried on the smaller length, and it was definitely a like snug fit, but perhaps this length will be more comfortable. Okay. See, I think that's too big. I might just do the length I tried on in store. So that is the stack there. I've got my herringbone bracelet, which I've had for years now. Um, my tiny little tennis bracelet from Missouri. This is a Lisa Goslin twisty chain um, bracelet. And then this Roski. Oh my God. I just, I love the texture and like the shine that it gives my stack. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so, so elegant. I'm not even taking it off. It's staying on. I love it so, so much. Anyways. Enough with my rambling, that is the new bracelet that I picked up um, at Swarovski and I absolutely love it. Um, they did have, I believe, matching earrings, which I might go back for, but matches my little idol earrings and necklace. It's like the same kind of design. I mean, obviously the idol um, ones are, are diamonds, but you've got the diamond in the middle and the little pothing diamonds around. This is just Swarovski and it's a perfect match. It's kind of like meant to be. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but I'm going to anyways. So a couple weeks ago, Cezanne emailed me and informed me that they were actually coming to Toronto. And now me thinking about you ladies, I was so beyond excited. Um, but then I found out that it was just for content creators. So they're doing a little bit of like a pop-up showroom to meet content creators in the area. So you guys won't be able to come, but I will take you along and 
you know, so we can see the new collection. But anyways, in that, they offered me a little voucher for Cezanne, which allowed me to pick up some items. Obviously, I had to put some of my own money towards it, um, but that's okay. So I picked up three items and they arrived. Um, if you're new here, I love Cezanne. They are a Parisian brand that they really specify in just the basics, like a lot of simple knitwear, jeans, trousers, pleated skirts, which is very me. Um, very elegant, very simple, but because it's a European brand, I have always been very hesitant to try out their pants, their jeans, their trousers, because I'm just not sure how they would fit on my body. I do, like, I'm not super curvaceous. Um, but I definitely have like, you know, smaller waist, slightly bigger hips, which make pants a little bit more difficult for me. Um, especially my, like my thighs aren't like super thin either. Like I, I have thighs. Um, so I've always been so hesitant, especially back then they didn't have like a Canadian website. I was just ordering off of their main website. So yeah, but anyways, this stuff arrived. I'm going to go grab the Cezanne box so I can show it to you guys. Okay. Let's go. A moment of appreciation for this gorgeous box. It kind of looks like an antique book. I have already opened this up, so I've got most of my things in here. The first thing which I already have put to good use is this super cute little like pouch. Oh, look at that. Um, now I love to have little pouches like this in my handbag. That way when I'm switching from bag to bag, I can just grab this and put it in another bag and I don't have to like scrounge for everything. Um, I've been using an idle one, but this is my new one. I've got like hair ties in there. I've got my wallet, my glasses, a lip balm. I love just kind of keeping this in my handbag. And this one is so, so cute. I didn't ask for this. They just sent this. Last time I made an order with Cezanne, they sent a tote bag, which was so, so, so cute. But anyways, that's the first thing that was in there. And so adorable. And then of course, their packaging is always immaculate. I'm gonna put this over here. The first thing that I got is a very me item. This is a classic midi pleated skirt in this gorgeous emerald green color. Kind of reminds me of the dress that Kira Knightley wore in the movie Atonement, just like the most beautiful shade of green. Yeah, that's the first thing that I got, and oh my god, it's so beautiful. Now this skirt does come in different colors, but this green just called my name. Now, if you've ever shopped around Cezanne, you will have most likely come across this little number. This is the Gaspard cardigan. It is one of their most like classic, elegant pieces. It is a wool cardigan with beautiful mother of pearl buttons. Um, and this is cool because you're supposed to be able to wear it kind of both ways. So like crew neck and just as a classic cardigan and I absolutely love it. I got it in the camel color. I just thought it was so elegant for fall, winter. And I got a size small, which I will say, I think the extra small would have fit a little better on me. If you're looking for a more like fitted look, kind of how it looks on the models in the website, definitely consider sizing down because I got a small, I usually wear a small and an extra small I think would have been better on me. It's gorgeous. Now, I know I'm gonna get this question, is it itchy? And this is such a tough question because I think it's so dependent on obviously the sensitivity of your own skin as well as where you live. So being in Canada, I know that when it comes to wool and we're talking about 100% wool items or at least like 90% and up, those types of items are typically reserved for colder temperatures um, because if I wear this in like the middle of summer, it's gonna feel itchy and I'm not sure why that is, but that's just from experience. I find that wool items like this are better suited for colder temperatures and um, if you are someone who is super super sensitive then it might be worthwhile looking into other types of wool like cashmere because they are known to be a lot softer and more gentle on the skin i tried this on and i didn't find it itchy at all on my skin um, but i can definitely see how some people can find this fabric um itchy but again that's just from experience so um it's hard to say if this is going to be itchy on you. I think we all have different like opinions on what is itchy and what isn't. But on me, it's not. And I just wear like a bra under it. I kind of wear it as a shirt. And it's so gorgeous. Anyways, moving on. One last thing. <laughs> I have been looking for a beautiful, beautiful pair of white cropped trousers. I just wanted a pair that was going to stay in my wardrobe for years and years to come. And well, these were it. So 
I ended up picking up the Damon trouser and they have the most beautiful cuff. The seams are finished off beautifully. Everything is just really, really high quality about these trousers. And for my shorter ladies, these are a fantastic length. So these have an inseam of 26 inches. Now, when I look at pants online, the first thing I'll do, especially if they're a cropped style, is I will look for the inseam. So if you like hit the drop down menu for like more info or whatever, most websites will tell you the inseam of a pant. Now my sweet spot, I'm five foot three, my sweet spot for inseam is 25 inches to 26 inches. Anything more than 26 inches, I know is gonna be too long. So at that point, I, just, I know it's gonna be a trouser that's gonna go like to the floor. Um, but if I want a cropped style, 25, 26 max. And these ones have an inseam of 26 inches. So they are absolutely perfect. So, so elegant. They fit my waist and my um, hips perfectly and they are just amazing. Well, that's everything that I got from Cezanne. I'm so excited to be able to wear these. I'm also very excited to meet with Cezanne and actually check out their collection. My plan, if possible, is to try as many of the styles on as possible, like some of their like basic styles, like their trousers, their jeans. That way I can actually like relay to you guys which ones fit me, which ones didn't, because I know a lot of you have like similar measurements. And if you don't, you can kind of use me as a point of reference for what fits, because fortunately for us Canadians, it's still only online unless you go to New York or Paris, which I can't believe I've been to New York twice now and have not had the opportunity to go into Cezanne. Next time, crossing fingers, I'll be able to step into their boutique and try everything. Anyways, I actually do have one more thing to show you, which I think this might be a little bit of a nostalgic moment for many of you. <laughs> I was browsing through Holt Renfrew, as I usually do, checking any newness out, and I came across a brand that I was very familiar with and hadn't seen in years, and I mean years, and it was GH Bass. Well, let me quickly show you what I got. So, I decided to pick up a classic pair of penny loafers in this gorgeous, like, cognac color. Just, I mean, elegant, classy. And I know, don't tell me, I know so many of you probably wore these as your uniform shoes in high school because my mom did as well. That's how I learned about the brand. Um, but I hadn't seen it honestly in years and I've never seen it in Canada. The pair that I bought um, years and years ago, I actually bought in an outlet mall in the US and we had walked in and my mom was like, Sammy, this is a really great brand. We actually used to wear this when we were your age. Um, it was a part of our uniforms and I ended up getting a pair that day. I got a beautiful pair of burgundy um, loafers with little tassels on them that I literally wore to the ground. They were so comfortable. At that point, like they were like butter soft. They had like just molded to my foot. They were the best thing ever. And so when I was walking through Whole River, I was like, oh my God, GH Bass. And they're actually the brand responsible for the first ever penny loafer. So I know penny loafer is a very widely used term. It was actually GH Bass that kind of coined the term and made a loafer kind of a very stylish shoe because prior to that it wasn't a very stylish shoe. Um, so that's what I picked up and they're so elegant, so beautiful. Um, I feel like I'm going back to like my 16 year old style where I used to wear like trousers, I mean I still wear trousers and shirts, but loafers. I used to wear a lot of loafers. I actually used to wear loafers to high school even though we didn't have uniforms or dress code or anything. So. That's what I got. I love them so, so much. I'm glad that they're now available. I know when I posted it on Instagram, so many people were like, oh my God, no, like we used to wear these like when I was like in high school and I'm like, just be grateful, okay? Be grateful that what you were wearing at 16 is still as classy and elegant as this because when I was a teenager, I was wearing some absolutely atrocious things like bell bottoms with dresses or like those cropped tights with like the little lace at the bottom and then like jean shorts over top or like a skirt over that just that's rough or like the four layers of tanks with the aeropostale t-shirt over top that is nor elegant nor classy that is just pure 2000 style so just be grateful that what you wore at 13 is still beautiful. I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm actually gonna start packing because I have to head down to Cambridge and I'm not sure if I'm heading straight to Cambridge or if I'm heading to Waterloo to meet my friend. We're going to this cute little cocktail bar that she said is really good. I think it's called, uh, 
the white rabbit i don't know waterloo is not my area i'm not familiar with waterloo like at all <laughs> i've been there a couple times i've been to like the university of waterloo um because that's where she used to go and that's it i'm not very familiar like toronto is my baby anything outside of that i'm like not sure so anyways that's where we're going tonight and then i think jock is going to pick me up later in the evening but um yeah i'm not sure what i'm wearing tonight I'm not sure what I'm wearing tonight, so I have to pack that. Um, Jack is playing a tournament this weekend, and it's going to be a very low-key weekend besides that. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put on this wick and get packing. I was just about to go pack, and my Ritzy package came in. Also, don't mind this cabinet here. We've been doing a bunch of rearranging in the apartment, and my Ritzy package came in. I actually bought a couple things from there because... Let me grab my tripod. I bought a pair of trousers. I think I actually talked to you guys about them. I had bought the cropped agency trousers and I loved them so much that I actually bought them in two other colors. So let me show you. I'm gonna open this up. If you didn't watch last vlog, I have had the agency trousers for quite some time and they finally released a cropped version of them, which I fell in love. I got them in the black. I actually bought them in store, tried them on and I was like, oh my God, these are coming home with me. And then I realized that they had a bunch of other colors. Because when I went in store, I didn't have any of the colors that I wanted. They actually only had the black in store. You'd think they'd have more colors. But anyways. So, I picked up the trousers in two colors. So, I got this gorgeous rich brown mocha color. And I wear these in a size four. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh yeah. That's so good. That's going to look so beautiful on. And then, oh, I'm not sure if I'm sold on this color. This color is matte pearl. It's supposed to be like a white, but it looks like, you know when like you wash your white items and they kind of like lose their whiteness over time? They kind of end up looking like a gray-y tone. It's kind of the color that they look like and I'm not sure. I love that, but we'll definitely have to try them on. But the brown ones are definitely keepers, but <laughs> Yeah, that's what I got from Aritzia. I actually really, really like these trousers. Now, the fabric on these is really, really nice. I want to say it's the Reessential fabric. So there's a little bit of stretch. They're much softer than the wool ones. So my old agency trousers are 100% wool, um, which is great. But because there's zero stretch to the fabric, they're not always the comfiest, especially if I just want to be comfy around the house. I will sometimes prefer reaching for trousers like this that have a little bit more stretch. Um, and I absolutely love them. They're so good. Okay, I kind of want to try them on, but I may end up wearing these tonight. We will see. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I've got just my old Ritzia blazer on. This is an oldie, but a goodie. And then this new um, turtleneck from H&M. It was like 30 bucks and it's really, really cute. Just very simple. And then I've popped on my new trousers. I feel like these brown colors are really complimenting just my hair and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm all ready to go. We've got all of our bags packed and ready to sit in two hours of traffic because that's Toronto for you. Okay.